What's up, everybody? This is your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So, welcome to another episode of No Fluff, No Passes, where we take a device and pull it apart and see if it's worth it for your mighty dollar. So, today, guys, I'm going to do a video comparison between the Moto X4, right? This device is a mid $250 to $300 phone. And I got the new kid on the block, a phone that I've been reviewing, uh, which is the new mobile G3. Let's put these two types together and see which one is King Supreme. So, sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready. This is gonna be a good one. Woo, two beautiful mid-tier phones. And follow me on this journey. Let's go. So let's talk about the build quality on both of these devices. As you can see that the new G3 has a good 18 by nine aspect ratio uh, which is gorgeous. I mean, this gorgeous. Look at this body style. Now this phone kind of remind you of a Galaxy S9 or a Galaxy S8. Uh, basically the Galaxy S9 because of the fingerprint scanner placement uh, with the curved glass. Uh, this phone is absolutely amazing. I can tell you that I really do like the body style of this device. So let's go to take a look at the Moto X4 again. Beautiful device. Now, this device got a, the traditional 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And again, a beautiful, gorgeous device. Uh, and uh, the only problem is, is again, when you guys look at this phone versus this phone, is that yes, Motorola does have a huge forehead and chin. But you be the judge for yourself. Now, the fingerprint scanner on the new G3 is on the back. The fingerprint scanner here is on the front. But when it comes down to the design, I can tell you that to me, either one of them is good, but we know that now in 2018, the 18 by nine aspect ratio is the fab. You get the huge screen here, 5.7 inch, but you get a 1080p screen here, which we go talk about display in a minute. But overall, you beat it just for yourself when it comes down to the design. Let's talk about these screens. Now we got a 720p screen here and I say this on my unboxing video and I continue to say this, that this device, even though it got a 720p screen, it is absolutely amazing. Now when you put both of these together, the, the, the text is very sharp and I mean, it is amazing when you look at that both of these devices. Now this is 1080p. Now let's go on to do a display test on both of these devices so we can look at the color on both of these devices. All right, so as we look at this, let's see if we could pump the brightness all the way up on this device, on both of them. All right, so we're gonna go all the way up to 100% brightness. As you can see, 100% brightness on this device, and we're gonna go 100% brightness on this device. All right, so we had 100% brightness on both devices. Now, let's take a look at this. Let's look at the reds. Just gorgeous, just beautiful red, but when you're looking at the Motorola X4, I like the deep rates here uh, versus the 720p screen here on the new G3. Let's look at some of the other colors here. Now the greens, again, I like the greens on the Motorola X4, a little more detailed greens versus the 720p screen here on the new. Let's look at the blues. Now the blues look perfect, look like on both devices. The whites, now the whites look very good on the new G3 versus the Motorola phone. Look at that, full brightness on both devices. Look at the grays. All right, now the gray look a little bluish on the Motorola X4, and it looks like a little perfect gray here. A little more on the white side. Now this is black, all right? And look at the yellow. And when you look at that yellow on both devices, again, I'm leaning a little bit towards the Motorola X4, but both of them look absolutely gorgeous. All right, magenta looks good on both devices. Cyan looks good on both devices. Now, right here, from my advantage point, uh, the new G3 is a little washed out a little bit, but uh, the Motorola X4 got perfect color. So that is the display here. So let's talk about performance on both of these devices. Now, we got the Snapdragon 630 processor here with three gigs of RAM. Now they have a four gig of RAM variant on the Moto X4. Uh, and the new G3 has the uh, Helio P25 processor, which is a MediaTek processor with four gigs of RAM. All right, so on Geekbench scores right here, 
Uh, let's go on and let y'all guys see the Geek Bitch scores that I ran. All right. So on the Geek Bitch scores, let's take a look at this. Single core score on the Moto X4 is 879 and multi-core score is 4154. And on the new uh, G3, we got single core score is 818 and multi-core score is 3038. Now, when it comes down to performance, uh, obviously, I like the Snapdragon version of the 630 processor. It's going to be a very good processor. But, hey, listen, that's not too far off when it comes down to processing power on Geekbench scores. All right. So, let's go ahead and open up some apps. Let's clear all apps here on both devices. And we're going to open up a few apps so y'all guys can see when it comes down to performance. Okay, let's go to open up YouTube on both devices. Boom. All right, so YouTube opened up fastest on the Moto X4 versus the new G3. All right, so let's go to open up Chrome. Boom. All right, so Chrome opened up fastest on the Moto X4. But let's go to open up a game on both devices and see if a PUBG will work on both devices. All right, so this device started first. Look at that. All right, so there it is. And uh, let me play this one first. As you can see, look like it's playing it pretty well. Now we do, are we all getting a little stuttering? We all getting a little stuttering. Enemies ahead. All right, so there it is. Oof, see that? All right, as we, now this is a very high intensive game, as you can see. So the Motorola X4 kind of started a little bit. Let's go with the new G3. All right. All right, yeah, so when we turn, we all get some stutter in here. Again, high intensive games. So it looks like to me, you're gonna probably have problems playing this high intensive game on both devices. So you can play uh, this PUBG on both devices, but you're gonna get some stuttering, some hiccups. Now I am getting a little warmth here on the new uh, G3. Definitely getting a little warmth here, but that's kind of expected uh, with both devices. So when it comes down to performance, I can tell you this pure performance, you could play some games, but when it comes down to high intensive games, nah, that's a no-go. So let's talk about the cameras on both of these devices. The new G3 had a dual camera setup here which consists of 13 megapixels and a five megapixels. And also we have a 13 megapixel front facing camera. Now on the Motorola X4, we also have a dual camera setup which consists of 12 megapixel and an eight megapixel. And then in the front, we have 16 megapixel camera on the front on the Moto X4. Let me show you guys real quick some camera footage with both of these devices. All right, so these are the rear cameras on the new mobile G3 and the Motorola X4. One of my favorite devices of all times is the Motorola X4. But I want y'all guys to see, I'm in my office, right? And I have my yellow wall here, and I want y'all guys to see this. The wall is kind of more of a darker yellow than a light yellow. So you be the judge for yourself. Now, both cameras have wide angle lenses, but I'm just using everything stock. This is 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now, both devices can shoot at 4K. Uh, the Motorola X4 can shoot at 1080p, at 60 frames per second. But I want y'all guys to see this uh, as far as how the rear cameras are on both of these devices. Now, I'm gonna switch to the front facing camera on both of these devices so y'all guys can see which camera that you would prefer. All right, so this is the front facing camera on both of these devices. I want y'all guys again to see the front facing camera on the new mobile G3 and the Motorola X4. Now again, the wall is yellow. So whatever you see right now is exactly the representation of how these devices work. Now, I'm looking at the viewfinder and from my advantage point, looking at the front facing camera, the new mobile 3G G3 uh, has the more accurate color, but 
you be the judge for yourself. And again, I'm going to go audio from side to side so y'all guys can get a good representation on how good the audio is on both of these devices. So these are the front facing cameras of the Moto X4 and the new mobile G3. So let me give you my conclusion with both of these devices. The Moto X4 is a fantastic phone. It's one of my favorite phones. I mean, you're getting a good design, good body style. Uh, you're getting it. Everything is good. And this device is running Android 8.0, right? That's slated to get Android 8.1 very soon. Now you get all your updates with the Moto X4, which is fantastic. Also for the $250 to $300 price, you get a headphone jack, which is very good. Both of the devices got USB type C, but you definitely get a headphone jack and you got pretty good cameras on this device. Now you can shoot at all modes, which is 1080p, 30, 1080p, 60, and 4K with the Moto X4. So that is a good thing. Now, some of the cons with the Moto X4 is yes, 16 by nine aspect ratio, which, you know, in 2018, that is not the norm. Also, big, huge forehead and chin. A lot of people get thrown away with the huge forehead and chin. Uh, but overall, this is a very good budget option uh, for 2018 when it comes down to devices. The new phone here, again, one of my favorite looking phones so far, uh, beautiful design, kind of remind me of a Galaxy S9, which is not a bad thing. Uh, you get some unique features here, the price, 200 bucks. You can't beat that, even though you're getting a 720p screen, I showed you guys that it is very comparable and close to the 1080p screen. Now, you get some unique features here. You get dual camera setup, which is okay. I mean, you're not getting a lot of unique features with it, but it's okay. You're getting a pretty decent fingerprint scanner, which is very fast. But some of the kinds, you're not getting a headphone jack, right? So another kind with this phone is that it's still running Android 7.1.1. And in 2018, taking it that we are a few months from the new operating system, this phone needs some TLC when it comes down to updates. Hopefully, we will get Android 8.0 with this phone. Both of these phones got 3,000 milliamp batteries, and I can tell you that they are energizer bunnies. You can't go wrong when it comes down to the battery life on both of these devices. So overall, I'm impressed. I like both of these phones. Uh, and again, these are gonna be some good options in 2018 when it comes down to the budget market. This is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about both of these phones in action. See you guys on the next video. Peace.